Welcome into LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax. Hi, I am Max Bretos. This is the show that gets you up close and personal to all things black and gold. Timothy Tillman joined LAFC as a big-time prospect with a high ceiling. He was affiliated with his parent club, Bayern Munich, which is also involved with LAFC as a network of clubs. And while the expectations were high, in 2024 he met and exceeded them. Tillman, one of the best midfielders in the league, and recently got called up to the U.S. men's national team, not once, but twice. It's all going well as we go off the pitch with Timothy Tillman. This is Bravo. Takes the outside track. Oliveira back in. Tillman. Timothy, tell me a little bit about your upbringing, where you're from. I'm from Germany, Nuremberg. I honestly have two hometowns. Uh, it's either Munich or Nuremberg, because I grew up in Nuremberg, but then I moved to Munich when I was 16. So I got friends in both of them cities, and my mom's living in Munich still, so these two cities are my hometowns. Germany, one of the countries you think about when you think about this sport, and obviously winning World Cups and great moments and great players. Um, just give us an idea of how crazy Germany is for, for the sport. Yeah, I mean, it's the biggest sport in Germany. I think it's, it's kind of similar to basketball here. Everyone knows every single team in the Bundesliga. Whenever there's a game in a city on a weekend, then the whole city is dressed in whatever the team's colors are. So yeah, that's, that's how, how football is lived in Germany. Did you have a boyhood team? To be honest, my boyhood team was always the one with the coolest kid. <laughs> uh, but now it's Bayern for sure. Bayern. What was it like when you found out that you were going to be able to be on, be affiliated with Bayern Munich? It was a very special feeling. Um, yeah, I was like, how do you say, it? flabbergasted. Where did you learn that? <laughs> flabbergasted. That's a good one. Yeah. You were just blown away. Yeah, <laughs> it was very overwhelming in the first moment, but as soon as I realized it's real, uh, it was just a, a big honor, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy I made it there. And Wester curls it in! Oh, it's there! It's in! It's Tillman! How you been uh, settling into the United States? You now have had a, a full year here, and what, what's different? Yeah, still the biggest different, uh, difference for me is the mentality of the people. Um, I feel like Americans are working to live, they really enjoy their lives and they, they, they spend money. In general, I'd say Germans are more living to work. So, so yeah, the, the work mindset is a little bit stronger over there or a little different. I mean, I love the weather here. The weather is amazing. The food is amazing. Mexican influence. I like the Mexican influence. You like the food. The way you describe the Germans, I feel like I'm part German because that's how I'm, I'm paranoid sometimes yeah. about my week. So yeah. I'm going. Do you, being German, has that equipped you well with life in, the, in America? Yeah, I think um, I'm always very disciplined. Uh, always on time? Always on time. I will never be late. Um, but yeah, that's... That's just my, my habit. What's it like having a brother who is pursuing the same thing? And how do you think that benefited you? It was always special, but it was never, never very competitive. It was just like, we just enjoyed it. We were just kids who had fun playing, playing football. So we just did it because we had fun. It was never like, yeah, we need to get better. We need to do this because we need to get there. It's, it was just, yeah, let's play. Come on, bro, let's go. This is just us, we're yeah. playing. But in reality, it probably got you, probably got you a yeah. lot better. Because uh, your brother Malik does, uh, is doing very well. You're doing well. Uh, both of, have now made um, an appearance with the national team. You got your chance. Can you remember what that, uh, what that phone call was like or how they told you that you're going to be called into a camp? Yeah, it was very special. Uh, Greg called me a couple of days before Christmas. He told me, yeah, just make sure to come to the camp fit and then you'll have good chances of playing. So off-season was a grind. <laughs> <laughs> no but time off? No. 
But yeah, um, it's it's just a very special feeling, um, making making me and my brother very proud, but also our mom or the whole family. And yeah, it's just a sign of a payback for the hard work, but there's still still a lot more to achieve. And yeah, I will I will work harder. Coming up on LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax, we go inside Hugo Lloris' journey to the black and gold. LAFC Weekly is presented by CarMax, official used car retailer of LAFC. By BMO, official bank of LAFC. And by Pacific Office Automation, we have your office game plan. LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax. The arrival of goalkeeper Hugo Lloris to Los Angeles was a really big deal at the beginning of 2024. After all, we're talking about a guy who spent the last better part of two decades with one of the biggest clubs on the planet in Tottenham Hotspur. Played in the last two World Cup finals, winning one of them for France. Players of this caliber usually take a while to assimilate to Major League Soccer, but not Hugo. He arrived, started game one, and has never looked back. And now we can add another accolade to his long list, MLS All-Star. Hugo Lloris is this week's player profile, presented by Rockstar Energy Drink. Hello, I'm Hugo Lloris. I'm the goalkeeper of LAFC. What a save from Lloris! I'm from France, from Nice. to be an LFC player. Come on, black and gold. If he comes in, that's a terrific save from the race. Number one, danger! Oh, what a save, Hugo Lloris! Well, Hugo Lloris is equal to it. Really good save from the Spurs captain. Big deflection too. That makes it even more difficult for Lloris. World class. I started being professional uh, when I was uh, 18 years old. I had the chance to be involved with the first team of my hometown club, Logis Nice. I stayed there until 2008 before my move to Olympique Lyonnais. I spent four years with Lyon before to move to London and Tottenham Hotspur, where I played for 11 years and a half. And now I'm at the LAFC. So I arrived uh, at Spurs in 2012 and obviously uh, I've been part of the evolution of the club. We've been regularly uh, in Champions League. Uh, we reached the final of Champions League. I have plenty of memories at Spurs, great memories uh, that I will keep it with myself for the rest of my life. Brilliant save by Hugo Lloris. It's been a privilege to represent my country also in the youth team because a lot of success with the national team. He started in under 19. We won the European Cup. And then uh, we won the year after the Festival of Toulon, that is really famous. I joined the first team in uh, 2008. Uh, I had my debut at that time. And I played for the national team during uh, almost 14 years. And I had the privilege to be the captain for many, many years, for many, many games. We reached the final of the Euro. We reached two final of the World Cup 2018. Very happy to lift the trophy. And I have also a few records in terms of captaincy, in terms of uh, caps. Privilege through my career with uh, Les Bleus. Besides football, uh, I used to spend my time off with my family. During my career, I used to travel a lot. I used to spend time uh, out of the house for the national team or for European competitions or 
for, for international competitions. And for me, the time with the family is really precious. I think we are just excited to experience uh, Los Angeles, uh, the California. There's a lot of things to do, a lot of things to discover. Uh, during the time off, we, we will uh, experience all those things. It's a great opportunity for my family, for my three children to experience the Los Angeles uh, life. I spend uh, most of my time in Europe and uh, I wanted to know a different culture, different continent and different football and I followed the MLS evolution and, uh, and I just wanted to be part of it. There was few options in the MLS and LAFC was one of them. Uh, it represents many, many things in a short time period and uh, you know it shows the, the ambition and the standard of the club and uh, I just wanted to be part of it. Coming up on LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax, we go inside the anatomy of Denny Buanga's goal versus Nashville. Welcome back to LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax. Now is the part of the program where we look back at one of the great goals of many goals scored by LAFC. We are going back to March of 2024, LAFC at home against Nashville, a game they won 5-0. Maybe the best goal of the bunch scored by Denny Buwanga, but it's not a one-man job. Everyone involved in the build-up and finality of this goal. So we asked Denny, we asked all that involved, we asked all that watched it from afar to sit down and recreate it. Look at it one more time in this week's Anatomy of a Goal, presented by Freeway Insurance. Just as intriguing as the results for LAFC as the year goes on is how they fill out this roster. There's room for Palencia. Across towards up to West. Oh, he left it! And Bowanga! Honestly, what a finish, though. What a finish. For sure, uh, 100%. <laughs> Primero, creo que Sergi en este gol es fundamental. Hace controles y pases desde que comienza la secuencia del gol hasta el final. Hace todo bien. Le, la position de Mati qui décroche, c'est parfait parce que le, le, le défenseur central le suit, donc du coup ça laisse l'opportunité à Sergi de, de déborder. J'ai senti que Sergi allait centrer, j'ai levé la main. As soon as the ball comes in from Sergi and I see it coming to, to Edu, all I'm thinking in my head is please dummy, like please leave this for Denis. Yeah. Across towards Atu West, oh he left it! Cuando veo el centro, el defensor tomó la decisión por mí. Él tenía que marcar a Denis, que estaba atrás, o venir a, a, al encuentro conmigo. Cuando me escogió a mí, yo solo tuve que hacer el amague para que, para que le quedara totalmente libre a, a Denis. I know Denis is screaming for him to see it. So then as soon as you see him kind of like drag his second leg to leave the ball, then you're just all in like a, the slow-mo of the ball, kind of coming at a perfect pace. Denise shaping it, ready to put it back post. Je me suis juste concentré à la cadrer et à l'enrouler comme je le fais à l'entraînement, parce que voilà, l'entraînement on essaye beaucoup, beaucoup ce geste-là. Donc voilà, c'était parfait. En plus, c'était à l'entrée de la surface. Je pouvais plier le match en mettant ce but-là, tout facile. Et donc du coup, voilà, j'ai tenté, j'ai réussi, et c'était parfait. Yo creo que este es un gol que describe lo que es el AFC. De verlo, disfrutas del, del buen fútbol, ¿no? Ojalá sean muchos más goles así. Fue un gran trabajo de todos. Eso es lo que queremos hacer, un gol hermoso. Y bueno, ojalá podamos hacer muchos más esta temporada. Coming up on LAFC Weekly, presented by CarMax. We relive the year Carlos Vela set the single season goal record in MLS. LAFC Weekly is presented by CarMax, official used car retailer of LAFC, by BMO, official bank of LAFC, and by Auto Collision Group, official auto collision center of LAFC.
Welcome back to LAFC Weekly presented by CarMax. 2019, a magical year for the club and for one man in particular, Carlos Vela, who was the first signing for LAFC and every supporter has followed along the path that he took with the club, which included in 2019, setting the single season goal scoring record, 34 goals in a season, a record that looks like it's gonna hold up for a very, very long time. As a result, he was also the first club MVP. And there was a press conference. We all got to participate in it and we're all gonna relive it again right now. This week's classic club moment presented by Remitly. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us here at Bank of California Stadium. And it is my pleasure to welcome you to this very special Major League Soccer announcement here today. From the moment we signed Carlos in the summer of 2017, he has exceeded lofty expectations on and off the field. No one could have possibly imagined the impact that the man we are honoring today could have possibly have had, not only for Los Angeles Football Club, but also for the city of Los Angeles. This one player in particular taken the city by storm and the league, and we are here to celebrate him today. It's a great pleasure to be uh, watching Carlos through this year. This is truly uh, a champion. So for me, it's a um, great pleasure to present the MVP, Carlos Vela. Good morning to everybody. Today, I get this trophy. For me, it's just a reward to all the effort, all the work I make. Every day, every time I go training, every day game. So I'm really happy to, to get that trophy. And I want to start to say thank you to my wife. Muchas gracias por Matías Romeo por estar conmigo en, en todos los momentos. Creo que son una parte muy importante para mí para poder conseguir todo esto. Y, me han dado estabilidad, me han dado todo lo que un hombre necesita para poder ser alguien importante. Así que muchas gracias y para mí son ustedes los MVPs. Gracias. Next thank you is for my teammates because they are another so important part to get this trophy. Every day I'm really happy to be on the field with them, so I would say thank you. Without you, this is not possible, and sometimes you make more work than me, but in the end I get the credit, so <laughs> sorry about that, but thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you as well to the owners, to the staff, coaches, John, thank you for making me part of this, for making me one of the faces of the club. For me, it was a real pleasure. In the first moment, I say, I want to be there with you, doing a great things. And just to finish, I want to say thank you to all the fans, because they make me feel at home. They show me love every time I come to the stadium, every game. You are there, even in the bad moments. So this is a trophy for you as well. And I promise the next year I will work more hard to get you the trophy. So thank you very much for, for being here. And thank you, everybody, to be part of this club. See all those sad faces. I know because our time has come to an end. But the good news, we'll be back again next week for another new program. A reminder, if you haven't seen LAFC or if you want to get back out again, go to LAFC.com. 
check out a game in person at BMO Stadium. If you're in Orange County, go see LAFC2 at Titan Stadium in Fullerton. I am Max Bretos, and until we meet again, let's go black and gold.